Has Ram lost their minds with pricing, or is it actually better than you think? Hmm. Hey, it's Tim, pick a truck plus SUV talk, and I just recently, recently in Austin a couple days ago, driving a new 2025 Ram 1500. I have a lot of videos on this channel about that drive, but I want to dive into pricing because I don't normally at press events like this, first drive events, talk about pricing that much, but I actually spent a lot of time talking about pricing because some wild factors of pricing. It just kind of grabbed my attention and I really wanted to spend more time talking about it. So I uh, talked to this gentleman, you'll hear him in just a second. So that's Brant Combs. Um, literally, the guy has a little bit bigger beard now and he could look like a stand-in on any Ram commercial. <laughs> he just epitome the Ram brand. So him and I spent a lot of time talking about this new 2025 Ram. I thought, let's go to the build and price tool and I'm gonna do a 2024 versus 2025. And before I do that, I, I should, let me explain what I got from Brant. So Brant's point of view is this, is that if you click all the boxes like I did and the Bighorn $72,000 or it's 68,000, another gentleman did build and price this morning. He put a comment on the YouTube channel, which I read. If you click all those boxes, you have a pretty expensive Bighorn. Creates a lot of questions about why you wouldn't get a Laramie instead, but there's some nuances here. They don't expect to sell big horns with all the boxes checked. They expect to sell a big horn that's a pretty more basic truck that they argue has more standard content than it did the prior generation. Yes, the big price point is gonna wow people, but they feel like the volume seller is not gonna be that price. They feel like it's gonna be more like a 50, $60,000 truck. So let's let's go back to this and I'll get my screen over here. Uh, let's go back to this. So we're looking at um, some big differences. We have a tradesman. A tradesman's high efficiency. We have a Bighorn, a Laramie. I'm going to stick to the Bighorn Laramie. I don't want to get too much into the tungsten and rebels like that. I'm going to scroll down on the screen. You can see those starting pricing. But what what we have here is we have a fifteen thousand dollar price jump between the Bighorn and the Laramie, which is not quite right. In that the Bighorn starts with a quad cab box or crew cab box or excuse me, center cab, and the Laramie starts with a crew cab. So if you were to select and make this crew cab five, five foot, seven foot box, $13,000 difference. So a little bit closer in pricing, okay? So of course we're gonna go four wheel drive and we'll go four drive in both. So now I'm about $13,000 difference, big horn to Laramie. Okay, that's a little bit better than say 20,000 or something in that range. So a little better in that price point. So if I go to build and price a big horn, and I just say, I'm just gonna do a black. I'm not gonna do any extra colors. Oh, excuse me, black is an upcharge. <laughs> Let's just go white. Let's go white, no upcharge in price. Kind of build the cheapest one we can. 18 inch wheels, fine, cheap, 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 cheap. Let's go all season tires. We're not gonna do any side steps, leave those off. We won't do the cargo box. We won't do the multifunction tailgate. So you can do a Ram box on a Bighorn, which is cool. The multifunction tailgate, the one that's got the, the Dutch, the, the Dutch doors or 60 40 split. Skipping that, skipping that, skipping that. Interior, we're gonna do the smaller screen. I'm not gonna mess with the screen. You do get the small, you still get the uh, smaller screen in this. Uh, I think it's 8.4 inches. Uh, I feel like I'm pretty close on that. And that's gonna be standard. Yeah, 8 point, there, 8.4. Boom. Yeah, nailed it. 8.4 inch touchscreen is standard. Let's leave that alone. I'm not gonna add any amplified speakers. Nope. Panel moonroof, no storage, nada. We're just gonna go base truck, base truck, base truck. No packages, not doing any packages at all. No uh, auxiliary power outlet, no black exterior mirrors, no power heated mirrors, nothing. Automatic dimming, no power, no uh, packages. Uh, sport appearance, night edition, nope, not doing any of that stuff. Not doing towing technology. That's a question that we were talking about. Um, we were discussing at lunch, why every truck in the market doesn't come with a trailer brake controller. And Brant's a big fan of trailer brake controllers. And he's like, this is ridiculous because he does a lot of heavy duty stuff as well. And he's like, every truck should come with that standard. It's 295 bucks for just the trailer brake controller. And so I thought it was an interesting viewpoint. Uh, and I tend to agree. So trailer tow package, this thing group, you got to get all that stuff together. Tra trailer tire pressure monitoring system, trailer tow mirrors, the power, power trailer tow mirrors, all that kind of stuff. So let's skip all that stuff. Powertrain. This is where things get interesting. So the 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar is the base engine, which, you know, you hear so much about Hurricane and you read press release about Hurricane, they forget they're still going to offer the 3.6 liter because they're going to do this with the Ram Charger coming out later on this year. That's going to be their plug-in hybrid kind of version. So his point of view on this was that it was 2,600 
$95 more for the hurricane standard output. But he said, if you go to the Bighorn in the 2024 model year, you'll find the Hemi was at more like a $3,000 increase. And you know what? I have that pulled up. So we're gonna go back and double check the math and see if he's right. So we have, let's go standard engine, eight speed, no rear axle diff, no electronic locking rear diff, the 321 rear axle. So we have more of a fuel economy truck. We're not talking about towing. We're not talking about kind of stuff. Uh, no air suspension, no big gas tank, no onboard power, nothing. Nada, nada, nada. 53,530. Um, after I collapse this upper. 53,530. That is your base bighorn. And the one that Brant would argue that dealer is going to order and have these on dealer lots because that's what they're going to try to sell. 535. So even if you go back and you say you add the trailer tow package, right? So you want to have some, so you want some towing on this. Let's go back and add that trailer tow group. Let's add this. See what else we got to add. A lot of times it says, I want to go back to this offer. Get a bonus cash towards your next purchase select RAM. Explore to this offer. Oh, I got to enter my details. I'm not doing that. So maybe I can get some cash back. So 1345 for the towing. So if I got the towing package, which what's the towing package include? Double check this. Uh, exterior mirrors, the power, the, basically you get the big mirrors. You get the, the telescoping mirrors and this trailer uh, steering. You can back it up that way. And you have the trailer brake controller. So 1345, you get a base 3.6 liter. You get the, the rear axle ratio, which for 195 bucks, I can make it 392. So it's more of a towing rig. So, oh, I got five additional changes. Let's see what those are. Uh, five additional changes. I have to get a different transmission. And I have to get the hurricane engine to get that. So let's undo that. So nope. Let's see if we can add 355. I could add 355. So I don't have to change the engine for 355. 392, I have to go hurricane. So we're at 55020. So that's what he's saying. He's saying this is going to be the base truck. Yes, the big corn can get the 72. Yes, you can get the most pricing, but this is going to be the base truck. And year over year, it's not that bad, is what his viewpoint. So let's go 2024. We can go to Bighorn. Again, we can see the $11,000 price difference between Bighorn and Laramie. But let's go crew cab, four-wheel drive. Let's make this Laramie four-wheel drive. And we have about $7,000 difference. So Laramie is actually starting higher this year than it did last year. And I believe the Bighorn is a little bit more. But let's go through. And my goodness, all the colors are optional. This is ridiculous. Let's go white. Uh, not going to do two tone, even though I like two tone. Let's well, I can do white, white and brown. Let's see. Oh, I got to get a cunt package. All right, so let's just go white. The base wheels, like we did last time, all base, nothing, no options, nothing standard. And I have in this case, I have this old style small screen, the five inch touch screen. So I get a bigger screen standard now on the 2025, um, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's easier to see. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to do Panasonic roof, I'm not going to do any that front other than stuff. Ram tow assist kit. No, nope, not doing anything. So, uh, Park Sense, not doing anything. Packages. So, bed utility backcountry packages is where I have to go to get that uh, dual painted truck, two tone truck. Uh, Bighorn level level B equipment. No, nope. level one safety, advanced braking. Nope, none of that stuff. Let's go see if we can find the. Uh, there's a sport appearance package, technology package. No, nope. let's see if we can go find a trailer tow. Yeah, trailer tow group. Is third is two thousand two hundred forty dollars. So it's actually a lot more money, and we don't get well, we get power trailer tow mirrors, but we don't get the big ones like they brought down from the WD. It's more info. Um, do they have any more pictures? No more pictures. Okay, that I can see exterior mirrors. Huh. So, okay, let's add this. And let's, oh, I got to do 12 additional changes to add this. <laughs> what are the 12 additional changes? Uh, I have to get, uh, let's see, go to the top. Different transmission. And I have to get the Hemi. So for the towing package, I have to get the Hemi. And the towing package actually costs more. The Hemi, like we talked about in the prior, in the other building price, $3,045 more versus the $2,100 more, $222, 21 something like that range, for the Hurricane. So he's right. The Hemi does have an increased price when you do that. I have to. Uh, everything else is free. Change the tires, but yeah, if I could, if I if I want to get a trailer, <laughs> that's ridiculous. If I want to get a trailer brake controller, I have to get a, uh, the V8. Okay, so I think I added that. It added. I don't know why it's not saying that's okay. Transmission also changed too. So there we go. 
So let's go down and see what our price is. Can I add the 392 rear axle? Well, I should, because I have the Hemi. And I can get the bigger gas tank. But 53660 is our price for that one with the Hemi, with trailering. And our other one was 55020 for the 2025 version. Standard features. Let's see. I don't know. If you look at efficiency, it's not yet available. Um, yeah. Interesting. So I think you get a little bit more safety features, a little bit nicer interior, a little bit changes in interior, and you get the Hurricane, which is a little bit faster powertrain. Doesn't sound as good at all. There's no way they can make that sound better. Just don't have the displacement. But look at the safety security. So active lane management, depth cruise control, blind spot cross path detection, electronic roll mitigation, da 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 da, traction control, tire pressure monitoring display, airbags. So let's go over to the this one, the 2025 model. And I'm going to look at safety, too, because safety was a big... They redid the electrical system in this truck, so they, they were able to add some more standard safety equipment. So, oh, yeah, so you don't get cruise control at all. <laughs> Electric roll mitigation, stability control, low beam daytime running lights, park view. Yeah, I don't see adaptive cruise control, so you don't get that. You Active lane management system, you don't get that. Blind spot and cross path detection. Nope. You get that now in 2025. He'll start assist, integrated voice command, which by the way, blind spot and cross path detection are really, really, if you have never used them before, they're really handy. They're in the mirrors and, and you can tell when somebody's behind you. Adaptive cruise is nice for lane, long trips. Active lane management system actually will keep you in the lane and actually will help you swerve around some cyclists and things. It's a pretty cool system, um, especially if you're a long road trip or you're looking at your coffee, or you're looking at your phone, whatever you're not paying attention. It's, it's beneficial. The Parkview rear view backup camera, that should be standard on both because it's an EPA mandate. And look at that. There it is. Uh, traction control, speed control, remote start system. I don't see remote start in this list. So I get remote start now. So for, what do we say? For about two grand more, I get a little more safety features. Um, and I get mechanical features. Let's see. Axles, differential, shift on demand, transfer case. Uh, no, I don't think there's anything different. 26 gallon fuel tank. Okay, so that's all. That's all about the same. What's that's in the the 2025. Let's go look at the 2024. Sorry to drag this on. I'm just doing this right now with you today. I'm just, this is the first time I've ever done this. So delete alternator. 26 gallon fuel tank. So fuel tank's the same. You can get a 33 gallon if you opt for that. And uh, yeah, I think everything else is kind of the same, without you know adding too much more to the price. Yeah, so level one safety group, that's all that safety technology I talked about. That comes standard now in those packages. And exterior features, I don't, I think it's all basically the same. Uh, let's see. Wheel, center hub, tire winch. Yeah, so all the same. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Uh, what do you guys think? So is he right? Is the pricing pretty close? Not that big of a deal. You get more standard safety equipment and the pricing is about the same. Or are you guys going, Jesus, still 55000 for a Bighorn. I don't get all the cool stuff, like the bigger screen, or I don't get the all the packages. I don't get all the features I want, RAM boxes, multifunction tailgate, dual pan sunroof, for a decent price. What surprised me the most on this was that uh, I've bought trucks now for three years. And I was looking back on the stats that I have for these trucks. The four, I bought a 2021 Ford F-150 XLT trim with the Power Boost, right? So their hybrid system. Had the power in the bed, dual panel moonroof. Heated cloth seats, which I'm a big fan about. And that thing was uh, right around 60, right? I bought a 2022 Toyota Tundra Limited, dual panel sunroof as well. Um, I had the uh, Limited package, which is more of like, uh, probably more of the Laramie competitor. And that one was 59000 with X, all the taxes and stuff. It's about 67000 by the time I'm done with it. And then last year, I bought the 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country, the highest trim level with the 30 liter Duramax diesel engine, with a diesel in it. And that truck was 67,000. So now I'm gonna buy a Bighorn, which is the one trim up from the Tradesman, which is what, three trims down from the high country. And I'm gonna pay five grand more for it than I did my high country. That makes a little, hmm. <laughs> it's almost like maybe I should just wait for incentives because oh my goodness, 72,000 for a Bighorn, if you click all the boxes. I don't know. It, it definitely got me thinking. And like I said, I spent a lot of time talking to Brent about it, a lot of time talking to the PR team about it, more than I normally do on a press trip, just because I was, I just, 
I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure out how, out how a bighorn was sixty, was sixty, uh, no seventy two, and then the Laramie I looked at at the, on this trip was eighty two, and then there's a tungsten even more. It seems a little ridiculous to me. I am at the point where I'm like, this is getting out of hand. What do you guys think? Is it out of hand? Has it been out of hand for a while? Because I think it kind of has. I'll check out the videos over here. Make sure you check out the RAM videos. I have a lot of them going out today. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.